Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to make laksa. Laksa is a spicy noodle soup popular in Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia and Thailand. This simply comfort and so delicious with a special fish soup broth and then the sleeky rice noodle is so good friends. Let's see how to make. Friends, welcome to the channel, food is God gift. Please click subscribe button and click that bell button and you will get notification every day. Please like and share and comment. Thank you. Friend, there is a many variety of the laksa. Today we are going to learn how to make instant laksa inspire Assam laksa or Penang laksa. Let's see what you need for this laksa. So today I'm using one can sardine, asam kaping or asam gogoi, or you can use a tamarind, one shallot, one red chili, few dry chilies for garnishing, laksa noodles, lactose, cucumber, pineapple, sliced onion, and boiled egg. So friend, you are another ingredient or herb, you need a down soap and bunga kantan. So friends, this is the asam gelagur or asam kaping. It's a dry plum and then the slice it already. And if you, you don't have that, you always can replace with the tamarind slices or a tamarind, dried tamarind. I, you need a, a board this much this is sufficient for this uh, two serving quantity so this is uh, a sankaping on my other hand and other hand is a tamarind so that much you sufficient for the two serving so i'm using about three to four dry chilies and one can of sardine so today i'm using that i am brand sardine just take out the sardine out from the can and we're not going to use that uh, the sauce the tomato sauce we just need that the sardine the the fish only so the remaining sauce uh, we can use for the other uh, recipe or any uh, you can use for the other things so now i'm going to show you how to make it first i'm just uh, get the, all that mint leaf is a one herb for our uh, laksa so you always can use that bunga kantan and down chindong if you are viable but I, today i don't have the here and for that i just replace with some mint stems and some mint leaf so i'm just slice the shallot so we're going to boil all this with the the sardine that from the can so i'm just slice that chilies shallot dry chilies asam kaping or asam gogo i'm just pour the hot water in this ingredient so let it soak and i'm going to add that the sardine fish so friends you just need that sardine fish only not the sauce so we're going to boil this all ingredient with a half teaspoon salt until nice uh, cook for 7 to 8 minutes. That's sufficient because we already have that hot water inside this ingredient. Next step, I'm going to show how I cook this uh, wet noodles. So this is rice noodle, thick version. So I just pour the hot water and let it soak for 10 minutes so while we can prepare or slice the garnishing so friends the laksa kuas is ready so i'm just try to separate the bone in the middle and i'm trying to remove all that bone in the middle so we just need that the fish part only the meat or the flesh of the fish only and I'm also remove all that mint leaf and mint stems because we're going to blend all these ingredients in the food processor. 
so friend i reserve some of the fish for the garnishing too so about three uh, of the half of the fish and i'm also removing the asam galago is a dry plum so we're going to blend all the ingredient to nice smooth paste so friend we just keep adding all that ingredient and i'm just add now about half teaspoon again salt and one teaspoon sugar and i'm also adding that the ikan bilis cube it's optional and we're going to run this to get nice smooth paste so we keep adding more liquid until we get that nice consistent friends you always can add more water if you like little more soupy so i like little thicker my soup the fish soup i like little bit thicker so i, li I like to keep about two cup of uh, liquid so that's sufficient and now it's ready friends so you can see already the thick fish soup is ready so we're going to pour back in the pot and i'm going to add all that asam cupping that we removed before and i'm going to boil this uh, soup broth another 10 minutes so and i'm just adding a few mint leaf so the mint leaf really remove all that the fishy smell from this broth so while we boiling we can prepare all that ingredient ready so remember we i just boiled that uh, with the hot water i'm just strain it the noodles and keep it aside and meanwhile the i already slice all that cucumber pineapple and ready so this is the broth it's so hot and smells so good friends you can smell that sourness spiciness and the fishy broth is so comforting and so delicious friend so let's see how i assemble this laksa penang together so this is good the consistency is good again friends if you like little bit soupy you always can add more liquid and just watch the salt amount if you want the taste little bit less salt you always can add the salt per taste so friends i just add the noodles in the bowl so we always have the big bowl because it's going to be super messy we're going to slurp all the noodles so we needed like a big huge bowl so we can have that lot of uh, the fish broth in this noodles and i just garnish with the lectus some sliced red onion and some mint leaf and of course that the fish sardine fish that we reserve early so friends if you want to know how to i cut the or core the pineapple please check the link below that i leave the link that i core the pineapple and the cube the pineapple at home so friend now we just garnish all that ingredient so friends this laksa is considered is healthy because we have very light and delightful of the ingredient and the fish stock or broth is so healthy with the half of the garnishings is the lactose cucumber pineapple and the sliced onion is a 50 percent of the garnishings of vegetables and only the soup broth is so healthy and is so comforting friend so i'm um, again add more garnishing slice red chili some more boiled eggs and some cut slice lime so you can keep pour more broth is your choice friend this is your favorite dish and me too so friend I hope you enjoy this recipe as much I enjoy. So friend, let's give a try. So everybody wonder how it's come out because we use only the canned sardine. But you won't believe this tastes so yummy. And I made this recipe many many times and never been taste as good. It's so delicious friend. 
and the thick noodles and so comforting chewy and just perfect and just added a piece of the pineapple give nice sweet it's so good friend it's just mouthful explosion it's simply delicious and so comforting friends Assam boy is a uh, one of the best pair with the laksa please check the description below to get this recipe link and simply best pair with this delicious laksa and sweet and sour Assam boy before you leave click that subscribe button and the bell button to get the notification thank you friends